All right, so example 10. This is actually the last one that we're going to have time for. Um, at least, that's my guess. Um, so if we look at, at this, it's supposed to be... Uh, oh, go read it first and then come back. All right, it's supposed to be a little camera looking at... A rocket ship! Woo! There's the rocket ship. Very artistic. So, we're asking, what is the rate of this angle of inclination changing? I know that it's 2,000 feet away. And I know that, at least at this moment, I could find this height. Now, it says it's after 10 seconds. So, let's start... Let's start defining some variables and writing some things down. So, first thing I know is that A is 2,000, and that is always going to be the case. B is, um, we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute, and theta, okay? D ADT is, no, you're not changing. D BDT, well, if that's the height, I could say, well, B, you're, you're equal to S of T. You're equal to this thing over here. So if I wanted to find D, B, D, T, I really want to differentiate this. I want to take the derivative. So let's think about that. What would S prime of T be? Well, we've been taking derivatives with respect to time. Well, that happens to be the variable here. So if I take that derivative, I get 100 T. And you might be thinking, Mr. Canfield, every time we've done this, you've said, you have to put a D whatever DT. Well, okay, well, if we did that, what would we get? Don't write this in pen. What's DT? DT. It's just one. Since T is the letter that we're paying respect to, that's its, that would be S of T's derivative. So... So db dt is actually 100 t. And if we think about that, it, specifically here, db dt would be 100 times that 10 seconds, or 1,000. Now, our question is asking us for what is d theta dt. That's what our question is asking us. That's what we want. Okay, so to figure this out, I've got all this setup information. Oh, hey, I never found out B. We're not even done setup, no! All right, so if I plug, plug 10 seconds in here, that'll find. So S of 10 is gonna be 50 times 10 squared. My hand's shaking too much, it's shaking my lamp. Thank you, lamp, for providing me with light. All right, anyway, so it's 50 times 100, that's 50 with an extra two zeros. So B is 5,000. All right. Now theta. If I don't have to find theta, I'm not finding theta because I have to use trig for that and I want to avoid trig at all costs. So how might I be able to relate A and B and theta or theta and anything really? Well, this is a right triangle, and if I use my good old friend Sokatoa, well, look at theta. Remember, this is hypotenuse. These are both legs. So the one that's far away, the one that's across the street, is opposite, and the one that's touching it, that's not the hypotenuse, the one that's touching it is adjacent. So I've got opposite and I've got adjacent. Let's see, opposite hypotenuse, no. Adjacent hypotenuse, no. Okay, so I'm back. We were, like, here, I think. Did you know that videos take up space on your phone and that they're, like, really big? So, we said couldn't be sine, couldn't be cosine, but tangent is opposite over adjacent, and we know those. So, we know that the tangent of theta is equal to this changing B value over this a value. Now, remember, 
that's a fixed value. A is not changing. I could put B over A, but since A is 2,000, it's never changing. That's going to make taking the derivative of this so much easier. So um, if I took the derivative of this, the right-hand side is the easier side, so we'll do that first. Remember, this is really 1 over 2,000 times B. Remember, 1 over 2,000 times B. That's really all this is. So when I take the derivative of this, it's going to be 1 over 2,000 times B dB dt. Now, the left-hand side, hey, what's the derivative of tangent? You can't see me. I did like the, oh, why am I, I'm making motions to, anyway. Secant squared theta. I wish it was just that, but because theta has a derivative, d theta dt. <laughs> so I am going to need theta because theta shows up in my final equation here. So to, to find theta, I am going to use this same idea that tangent of theta is equal to b over a. So let's come back over here. If I know that tangent of theta is equal to b over a, and I know that b, in, in at least at this moment that we care about, b is equal to 5,000, and a is equal to 2,000, well then, to get tangent by itself, we have to use inverse tangent. So, well, we can simplify this really quick. We know tangent of theta is really equal to 5 halves. So we can simplify that fraction. To get theta by itself, we need to use inverse tangent or arc tangent. Remember, tangent to that little negative 1 thing of theta, this is the exact same thing as saying arc tangent of theta. This is vocab. These are equivalent statements, different notations for equivalent statements. So if I use the inverse tangent here, I get theta is equal to arc tangent of 5 halves, which I don't have my calculator on me. It's approximately some number. And I'm going to be using that up here. So I want to get d theta dt all by itself. So I'm just going to, you know, I could multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, which, what's the reciprocal of secant? Cosine. So I can multiply both sides by cosine squared theta times cosine squared theta. That's going to cancel my cosine and my secant. I have d theta dt is equal to 1 over 2,000 times db dt times cosecant squared of theta. At this point, I can plug in 1 over 2,000. Now, db dt from earlier we said was 1,000. And then cosine squared of the arctangent of 5 halves. Um, and you can use radians to find this. That's what I usually stick with. Um, and I'll, let me go find the number. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I typed it all into Google because I forgot to bring my calculator home. And I got 0 0.0689 or something like that. And I rounded up to 0 0.069 radians per second. Um, Okay, so hopefully this has been um, more helpful than just seeing all this work uh, set out for you. Um, now, if you look a little bit further down the website, you will see that you have related rates homework. I forgot to announce it in class yesterday, but you have related rates homework. I'm sure someone's complaining right now. Um, realize it's due the Friday we get back, so it's due next Friday. I wanted to give you enough time to get that done after you do um, the take-home test. Again, feel free to email me. I saw a lot of you take pictures last time, but remember, it's my name, no caps or anything, at the Gmail. 
Have a great Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen.